you wanted breakfast. I had no boundaries and the contraction started in a coastal cafe. I hadn't eaten since the sonographer declared your womb a grave. I watched you push, scrambled tofu around your plate. It was too late for sanitary towels, so I lined the car seat with a bag for life for the return to our seaside home. In the bathtub, I peeled your leggings, sticky like wet rubber from your thighs. This is the worst holiday ever, you cried as your belly gutted ten weeks of new beginnings, tentacles spilling, slick and quieter than a drowning. I held out hands to catch our belly up fish, but missed, and our little gem, prized from shell, not yet pills, splashed like innards on a fishmonger's floor. I scooped it up, like a child would a bug, curious enough to keep it in a jar on the mantelpiece, releasing it back to soil when it disturbs the guests. I just needed to make it easier, so I joked, you finally have one up on my exes, because I've held a few hearts, but never a placenta. You giggled as if transformed to mermaid aboard our shipwrecked family. Your legs, the only loss your body has ever known. And I, your seahorse companion, gender ambivalent and capable of producing a thousand eggs, will have a thousand babies, I promised, as you peeked into my hands and together we marvelled at our treasure. <laughs>